What's up everyone? Mitch here with another logic tutorial and it is Friday so I am psyched out of my mind right now I don't even know why so I'm in this weird ass mood um, so forgive um, my behavior in this video you know what I'm saying? Okay so this video is going to be over bouncing in place awesome it's simple it's very simple so this is gonna be a short video hooray um, so what I'm going to be doing is taking a software instrument and I'm going to be bouncing it into um, another channel strip and that channel strip is going to be an audio strip. So you're going to convert MIDI information to in whatever that synth is playing it's going to be transferred over into an audio file. Great. And this is useful because you can do things with audio files that you can't with MIDI. This is great. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I don't know, I'll pick one synth dominator and I love that dominator if you watch my videos you know I love that dominator why because I love the dominator turns out I am a dominator so it just works out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna record this shit I don't know dude ah, give me a break doing my best we're just going to see what happens here. Wow, I was shitting the bed. No, not one sixth, one eighth. <laughs> oh, I suck. <laughs> Whatever. Alright, I'm totally over this shit. Okay, anyway, what happens is you have this MIDI file, which is great, okay? Awesome. But what we can do to is it... <laughs> what we can do to it is select it, make sure it's selected, come up here to bounce regions, great. And we have this option in the box that comes up, alright? We can name whatever track we want this to be. We want this to be... Um, bitches be Roman. That's a name. Okay. Um, I'm going to make this go to a new track. Yes. If there was an audio track all the way up or already out here that I wanted it to be, I could select it select my audio or my MIDI file again and then do this again and this would be able I would be able to um, bounce this to that track great um, and this is what I want to do to my main my source track I'll just leave it as regular um, bypass effect plugins this is kinda cool because you can just take what that um, EXS24 is putting out and bypass all of the um, plugins so you know you could if there was reverb on it, uh, you could instead put reverb on after the fact on the audio file instead of having it being bounced with the file, which is kind of cool and useful in many, dis many in many places. But I'm not going to do that. And then I include the audio tail um, just to make sure that I'm not cutting anything off at the end. And then I'm going to put normalization to on. And it's honestly up to you. Um, I usually have on, okay, because I end up doing it in the end anyway. So I'm going to press OK. And it's gonna do the exact same, or it's gonna bounce to an audio file that's called Bitches Be Roman. Great! Incredible! I'm gonna solo this and see what it sounds like. Okay, yeah, so basically it's the exact same thing that my MIDI file was, only it's in an audio file now, and you can do so much more with it. Like, oh, I don't know, put a fade on it, if I can get the right tool. You know, stuff like that, because you can't do that on a uh, MIDI file. Sour, sour about not being able to do uh, fades on a MIDI file. But anyway, there you are, easy, easy peasy. Um, hopefully, uh, my you know mood make this made this a little bit interesting for you, because it's really easy and it's kind of boring and 
you know, whatever. So comment, rate, subscribe, yo. Do that shit up. I will see you very soon. Peace out.